and honestly, I couldn't speak three days ago. So, and I believe it was because God knew what was going to happen tonight. And God, the devil tried to literally take away my voice and, because I believe that there's somebody here that needs to hear what I have to say and what he saved me from, what he took me from, the places that I've been and the highest of highs and the lowest of lows that I have been. And every single step of the way, let me tell you how faithful and good God is and how he's taken me out of it. See, like, let me tell you, I grew up in church. I spent I spent Sunday morning, Wednesday nights, whenever my mom would take me, I would go. But there's a difference between going and believing. Because you can go every single Sunday, you can go every single Wednesday, you can play the role of church, but that means nothing with your relationship with God. Uh, it says in the Bible somewhere, sorry, I'm recently saved, but it says somewhere, I know it does, it says that uh, there was a man who lived his life for God, and whenever he went to heaven, God said, God turned him away and said, I don't know you. You can go to church. You can be there every single Wednesday and Sunday, but that doesn't mean you have a relationship. That doesn't mean that you're going to heaven. You're not guaranteed that spot. So let me tell you what he did for me, okay? Grew up in church. I got in high school. I thought I was hot. I thought I was cool. So I decided to start messing around. I decided to get in some dabbling in some drugs. Started to start dabbling in some alcohol. I thought, I thought everything was good. I thought life was a party. That's what I felt. And every single day, I would wait. I, I bought a weed pen. Like, I was living life for myself. There was, there was no God in me. But let me, like, I have seen visions of God standing right there beside me when I was, when I was smoking. I have seen visions of God standing there right there, like, weeping, saying, just try me. Every single thing that we take in this life is a counterfeit for what God wants to give you. Let me tell you that for a second. There is nothing that God won't provide for you that this earth can provide for you. He provided this earth. He knew everything he was going to put in it. The weed, the cocaine, every single drug, every single alcohol beverage. You know what's funny about alcohol? They're called spirits. You want to know why they're called spirits? They're, I can testify on this. Like fireball, like alcohol, it changes you. And each different type of alcohol will change who you are. There are different spirits for different moods that want to put you in. I've tried vodka, and vodka would make me happy. I've tried fireball, and fireball would make me angry. Those spirits, those are spirits you are putting inside of your body. And if you think that you are drinking those, and you think that they are fulfilling you, they have nothing to fulfill you. It is a pleasure. It is flesh that is coming out of you. It is not God. God does not want you to be consuming those things. God does not want you to be getting drunk. You are here for one purpose. Then that purpose is to serve him for the rest of your days. You have no, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So, I was drinking, I was smoking, I was partying, I thought I was cool, I thought I was hot, and then one day I hit rock bottom. I realized that I was nothing, I was depressed, I was 16 years old, I walked in my mama's room and I said, I don't want to live anymore, I don't want to be on this earth. I thought these things that I was doing, I thought they was fulfilling me, I thought that that's who I was, my identity had nowhere else but in alcohol and drugs, I thought that's who I was. I thought I was the party guy. I thought that that's all I was ever going to be, was the party guy. I thought I was going to stay in Hendersonville, North Carolina for the rest of my life. I thought that there was no other point to life than partying. I didn't, I didn't see anything else. But let me tell you about what God has taken me from. A depressed 16-year-old who was ready to commit suicide. A depressed 16-year-old who only lived for drugs, only lived for partying. And he took me. He took me from that. I had one encounter. It was one thing. It was one step that God led me. It was one encounter. Let me tell you that there can be one encounter with God tonight that will change your life. There is nothing that he can't do in a moment of depression, a moment of anxiety. There ain't nothing that my God can't do. Don't you dare put him in a box and tell me that he can't do it because I have seen for myself firsthand. I'm a witness that God speaks and he breathes today. I, I can tell you without a doubt in my mind, before I didn't know if God was real, now I can tell you 100%. I know he lives. I know he is speaking to me every single day. I know what he has taken me from. There is no one else who gets credit for what I have been taken from but God alone. Every single situation that you are in, you think this doesn't apply to me but God. But God will step in. And the last moment when you think there is nothing, when you're sitting there in front of your mother crying because you don't want to live anymore, because you think you can't handle the next day, let me tell you about my God. Let me tell you about what he did for me. I, ooh, boy, I, I tell you what, there is nothing that he won't deliver you from. There is nothing he won't take you from. I went from that kid, from the depressed kid who was ready to kill himself, who wanted to drown in the bathroom because I thought that, that's, I, I thought that was it. 
I thought that was it. He took me from that spot, and now I am in ministry school. I am training to be an evangelist for God. I am training to be a, a, a prophet, a speaker for the, for the works of the kingdom of God. I am no longer bound by those chains. I am no longer on the ground. I am risen. God has taken me out of those grave clothes. I was in bondage. I was dead. I was nothing. But God took that. God saw me. He didn't just see me. He sees you. He sees every single step that you've been, and he has been with you through every single step. There ain't nowhere you're going that he ain't at. You think that you can hide from him in the bar? Listen, Adam and Eve thought that they could hide from him, right? Where'd they go? He hid behind a tree, right? I think. Probably. Maybe. I don't really know. We weren't there. Who's to say? All right? So, like, he was hiding behind a tree, and God was like, where are you? Where are you, Adam? Why are you trying to hide? Who? You think you can hide from God? Like, like, be, be real with me. There's, there's no bar, there's no meth house that he is not in, that he is waiting, he is saying, son, just be mine. Stop searching for his earthly possessions. Stop looking in these counterfeits because he is there for you. He is not there for the counterfeit. He is wanting you to stop all these counterfeits. Stop the counterfeits. Look, look at the authenticity. Exactly like what my mom said. There's no more counterfeit. The church has a choice. You can't counterfeit your way into heaven. There is authenticity. There is freedom in God. I am proof of the freedom. I thought there was freedom in alcohol. There's freedom in drugs. There's no freedom in that. That is bondage. That is slavery. There is nothing more free than the kingdom of God. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you about it. So, like, if, if there's anybody that I'm talking to that feels like there's a counterfeit in your life, that feels like you have been searching through these counterfeits of these things that make your flesh happy, but when you're done with it, you feel empty inside. If there is anybody in this crowd right now that has been dealing with these counterfeits and wants to see the authenticity, the real God, please, I would, like, this place is open. I, I, I would love just to pray for you and to show you the true God, the authentic God, the God who doesn't deal with counterfeits, the God who sees every single step that you have taken, every single move that you make, he is right there standing beside.